Hundreds of students of color were at Oakland's Merritt College today. Yes, yeah, KTV Sarah Zendanam reports they were there for an inside look at how to get into the tech industry. Men of color are underrepresented in the tech sector, but that's changing thanks to the Brothers Code Tech Slam put on by the Hidden Genius Project. We're here in Oakland, California for Brothers Code. A couple hundred young people, a hundred or so adults and community members who are all programming, learning, and technology skills, learning about technology pathways, just getting exposed to a broader network and a broader understanding of what technology is. This is the seventh annual Brothers Code, the fifth in a row that we've had here at Merritt College. Proud to have Brothers Code be an Oakland staple right now. This is really about us trying to inspire and hopefully energize young people and the community that's here. It's a good way to get new young people engaged with these different ideas and concepts or tools they might not be familiar with. Does that make sense? I want to get a major in computer science and maybe a master's in that. Today, I think it's really about being hands-on, especially for the youth participants. So let's get our hands on robotics, virtual reality, game design. Let's get our hands on devices and do a little coding. But ultimately, that's really about having fun. We want these young people, especially our boys and young men of color, who oftentimes are growing up really fast. We just want them to be children today, you know, just have fun. Later on, we'll have a community expo where a bunch of organizations and companies will come together and they'll show these young people what all that they do. There's an adult track as well. We want to make sure parents, guardians, teachers, community members are able to engage and have the wherewithal to learn more about what the space is so they can support the young people in their communities to actually be able to pursue these pathways. Countless volunteers, uh, countless advocates, we're extremely thankful to them, we're extremely thankful to our core partner, our K4 Center. And then of course we've got you know, some great sponsors and uh, we look forward to continue to build partnerships and relationships with those organizations as well as a host of others.